Okay guys, so I just got the new iMac 27 inch from 2019 with the i9 core Intel Core processor. And I just want to show you this iMac's configuration here. And you can see uh, the RAM here is only 8 gigabytes. And this is just because I want to upgrade myself, obviously. Uh, Apple takes a lot of money for that. So I will do it myself. And you can see it does contain the least good graphics card that comes with this iMac. So this is basically the cheapest alternative for the graphics. I don't prioritize the graphics because I think that logic or music production um, goes away pretty good with this graphic card. Uh, I don't need the Vega graphic card for music production. Okay, so as you can see, I have the i9 processor and uh, I just uh, basically run a benchmark, a Logic Pro benchmark. Uh, you can find it on the website here. They are going to show a list in the description of this video. So as you can see, uh, this test starts out with 50 tracks, so let's play it. And you can see that all of the 16 cores uh, goes basically at about half of its capacity. So let's enable some uh, few more tracks here. So it goes along pretty good here with 63 tracks. Let's try, let's say, 80 tracks here. You can see it start to ramping up here. Um, let's try, let's see, 90 tracks now. Still does pretty good. Let's enable it to 100. Let's go 10 more. So now you can see the cores are uh, getting at full capacity, but it still plays it as it should. And Logic need to kind of learn how uh, your project works or the plugins itself. So sometimes you have to play and stop and play and stop to make Logic more efficient uh, for between all of these uh, 16 cores. So let's try even more tracks here. Let's go to 120. So now you can hear some uh, crackling going on and uh, different things uh, going on here at 120 tracks. But 120 tracks is pretty impressive anyway. So uh, this is uh, almost iMac Pro levels here for our Logic benchmark. Let's try 130 tracks. Yeah, now I'm getting this error. It still seems to... Yeah, I'm getting there a lot here now, that's 130 tracks. So I think our result will be actually around 125 because it worked pretty good at 120 and it's crashing all the time at uh, 130 tracks. So I think 125 tracks is pretty fair to give the result of this uh, iMac i9 uh, processor from 2019. I have some other Mac devices that I want to compare this iMac i9 with. So let's try out with the first one here. It's a MacBook Pro from 2018. It's a 2.2 .2 Intel Core i7 with 16 GB of RAM. So this is basically um, the stock version of MacBook Pro 15 inch. So let's see how this does. And this is um, 
as you can see here we're trying with 20 tracks so just to um, make it a bit quicker here I'm going to fast forward a bit and as you can see here at it start to struggling at 70 tracks and I got it to be at 70 or 67 tracks and that's played perfectly so uh, the stock or basic MacBook Pro 15 inch did 67 track in comparison to our iMac i9 that did 130 or 125 tracks so that is basically a double uh, in performance between the MacBook Pro and the iMac which is very not noticeable because um, a lot of music producers uses the MacBook Pro and obviously you can upgrade it to an i9 for instance so it's still a very big jump in performance anyway okay so let's compare it with some other Mac models we have an iMac 27 inch uh, let's see an iMac 27 inch 2017 with an 3.5 i5 processor and 8 gigabyte of RAM and uh, let's see how this did so as you can see it's oh, it only has four cores and at 20 tracks, it's already struggling a bit. And at already at 30 tracks, it starts to, to crash on me here. So basically the iMac 27 inch with an i5 from 2017 isn't a really good uh, option to have if you're working in Logic. Let's try it out with uh, other Mac models and this is the MacBook Pro from 2016 and an i5 with 8 gigs of RAM. And um, let's see how this did here. So at 20 tracks we start already to get some system overloads. So we got it at stable at around 14 tracks. So uh, 14, 15 tracks, somewhere around there. and. Uh, to compare it to the i9 iMac, uh, as you see, it's uh, a performance of, of almost 10 times. Um, so yeah, it's a very big uh, jump in the performance. Let's try some other MacBook here. It's a MacBook Air, which is for me a very big no-no to purchase if you're doing music. And you can see this is the latest model from 2018. It's with the i5 processor with 8 gigs of RAM. And let's see how this does. So you can see at 20 tracks we can't play a thing, so we have to back it up a lot. You can see at 9 tracks it's getting system overloads. At 5 tracks it's system overload. So this tra this test is barely usable on the MacBook Air, which does say something that uh, you shouldn't purchase the MacBook Air if you're serious into working with Logic Pro. And um, yeah, I mean, the iMac i9 is the best purchase out there as of now, if you're not looking at the iMac Pro, obviously, because that is a whole, whole nother level of, of computing and processing power. But still, the iMac 27 with the i9 processor is a very, very good purchase if you're working in Logic. And also the Mac Mini with 6-core processors is very, very great. I don't have it as of now in this video to show you, unfortunately, but uh, I have tested it out myself and it shows similar results to this iMac i9 processor. Um, the i9 is still better though, but uh, yeah, it's it's a very good machine to have as well if you're, if you're working with a desktop environment. If you're mobile, then the MacBook Pro 15-inch is the only option. Um, I think because even the 13 inch does have a worse processor 
So I still think that the MacBook Pro 15 inch i7 is a very, very good option to purchase. And um, in all honesty here, we shouldn't go with the i9 for the MacBook Pro because it does some serious thermal throttling. So that means that as soon as the processor goes hot, it lowers the resources for the CPU. So it basically gets slower as hot as it gets. And you don't have that problem with the i7 processor in uh, MacBook Pro. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. See you in the next one.